Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm so excited for this video. This video is going to be a foundation review which I haven't done in a while. I haven't really tried new foundations but Milani just came out with a new foundation and I love Milani. Milani is one of the better brands in the drugstore and they just came out with foundations and I'm excited to try it. So I got three shades and I got these shades from Ulta and they were I think $13.99 and they're uh, one fluid ounce like a typical foundation. So this is what the foundation looks like. And it's called the Scream Queen Foundation. And I love everything that's queen, everything that's crown, everything. Like, they just uh, speak into my soul. So it's supposed to be a natural finish foundation, which I've never really tried. I'm oily, so I usually try matte foundations. And it has a digital blue light filter. That's exciting. So the claims on this foundation is that it's luminous natural skin finish. It's buildable, light to medium coverage, and long wear. So I'm kind of iffy on this product. It might not be for everybody. and not, It might not be for people with oily skin. So here are the three colors they're very similar in shade and they come with a pump so that's really good so i got the colors 420 warm almond i have 440 golden hazelnut and i have 450 deep amber so i bought these online so i'm gonna swatch them and then like do a facial like test on my cheek to see if the colors are really good my bump mirror is right here so we're gonna start with 420 and this is form 20 or well, form 20 this is warm almond number 420 so i'm just gonna shake it up because you want to shake up your foundations when you first get it just so all the products doesn't settle and then i'm gonna squeeze it on the back of my hand if it will come out and this is the consistency and the color of the foundation and I'm gonna place it like right here to see if the color is pretty good so this is 420 warm almond it's a little too light and where's my makeup wipes? I'm going to use these Kirkland makeup wipes. They're from um, Costco. I actually don't really like these makeup wipes, but they're what I have on hand. So that's 420. It's a little bit too light. The next color we're going to try is 440, and this one is Golden Hazelnut. And this is 440 Warm Almond. It's a little deeper, you can tell, and I'm going to swatch it right here. This color possibly can work. It looks a little ashy. I don't even know if you can see it. My light is like in a weird place, but this is it right here. It's doable. And the last color I have is 450, and this is Deep Amber. And this is Deep Amber. And then I'll swatch it on my cheek. And that's Deep Amber. That could possibly work too. I don't even know if you can see the colors, but yeah. This one is a little bit too... Like, not golden. It's kind of like too neutral. I wish there was a shade in between um, Golden Hazelnut and Deep Amber. But for this video, I'm going to go with Deep Amber. So I already moisturized my face and I'm going to wipe this off. And here are the swatches just in case. This one is Warm Almond. This one is Golden Hazelnut. And this one is Deep Amber. So I'm going to go with Deep Amber. And I already did my brows, a little bit of shadow on my lids and liner. So I'm going to prime my skin like I do all the time. And y'all already know my favorite is the Hydro Grip Primer. 
and already moisturized and all that good stuff. And I'm gonna do one side with the with the beauty sponge and one side with a brush. So while this is sitting, I'm gonna go um wet my sponge and be right back. So I'm going to apply with the beauty sponge on my right side and I'm going to use a brush on the other side and I'm going to use my, where's my brush? Oh, I'm going to use the uh, Instapop Face Brush by Real Techniques. So I'm going to pump, one pump on the back of my hand and do one side with one pump. And I'm not going to color correct or anything to see how the foundation covers. So I'm just going to use a beauty blender and pounce it on my face. And I actually need another pump. So I'm going to just pump two more pumps. And blend this in. So the foundation is blending in very nicely and it's covering up nicely. It's a tad bit too dark but it could work and when you conceal and stuff it won't be that bad. And it just gives a nice finish. It does look natural and it has like that glow that oily skin girls want but it's not like too much and that was like three pumps on that side which is more foundation than I usually use I usually lose like two pumps to cover my whole face but yeah and I could go in with a little more to kind of cover marks down here which I don't know if you can see because of the lighting but it blended easily and it still feels a little like not dried down completely so I'm gonna pump two more pumps and I'm gonna use my instapop face face brush and do the other side and with a brush you always get like filler coverage on the first go around then with the sponge sp the sponge gives you like a more natural finish and then you could build it up but this is covering very well like it says light to medium but I feel like it's medium to full in my opinion but the tip on to having your foundation being flawless is having your skin flawless and recently my skin has been glowing yeah, but with the brush, it's like soup. It's very good. And then I'm going to just do my whole face with the, just so everything could be blended. And I'm going to just go back in. But I actually like it with both a sponge and a brush. Like, it looks flawless. My first impression is that I absolutely love this foundation. Like, do you see? And then you see that natural glow, like, on my face. And actually, the color matches me pretty well. Maybe a tad bit too dark, but like I said, with concealer and stuff, it works out good. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and come back to show you how the products worked with my normal everyday products. So I'll be right back. So I'm actually just going to do the rest of my face, but show it to you guys sped up so you can actually see it so it's not just a boring video. So I'm putting my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the color Deep Olive underneath my eyes and I'm going to highlight a little bit. And then the rest of it is going to be sped up.
so I'm back and I finished the rest of my makeup and this is how it turned out it looks gorgeous like I can't stop looking at myself in the mirror your girl is snatched and put to her life even though this is like my everyday I feel like I look flawless like you can't tell me that this is drugstore like it looks beautiful and I'm gonna do my lips now I wanted to show you how the color looks from my boxy charm box this is from Queen Cosmetics and this is the color thick skin and I'm just gonna apply this onto my lips and I already put my moisturizer on my lips already This is how the lip color looks without lip liner. I'm, I'm actually not feeling it like this. I'm about to add a lip liner. And I'm going to use the Carly Bible with Il Maquillage lip liner in Luna. And I actually need to sharpen this, but... And you want to work fast because this lip liner is like drying at the same time. So probably you want to line your lips then add the lip color. But right now it looks cool. Yeah, but I love this foundation. Um, I should do a wear test for you guys. So it's actually late in the afternoon. Like I just got home from work not too long ago. But it's 518. I don't even know if you can tell, but it's 518. So I'm going to wear this for the rest of the night and then come back maybe at like 10, 11 o'clock to see how this foundation holds up. But right now, your girl is looking unclockable. Like, what? I look good. So I'll see you in a couple hours and I'll tell you my final reviews about this foundation. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back to give you my thoughts and review on this foundation. It's around 11 o'clock, so it's been about six hours since I've been wearing the foundation. I haven't been doing much, just been relaxing around the house, and the foundation still looks gorgeous. Like, it looks like I'm just naturally, like, radiant, which the foundation is supposed to be luminous natural skin finish so it looks like my natural oils like i don't look as oily as i normally would with other foundations like i feel like i don't even need to touch up and i think because the lights is making me appear more shiny than i actually am when i look in the mirror and i haven't touched up i haven't done anything and this is like up close i literally look it looks like skin so hey guys, I'm now on my phone because my memory card is full and I don't have it on a tripod. I'm just holding it and getting this nice light for you guys. So like I said, the foundation looks natural, skin-like. After six hours, you can basically tell if the foundation is going to hold up, especially when you have oily skin. So yeah, I'm loving the foundation. Looks natural. I highly recommend it. And yeah, you can find it at Ulta. It's around $13.99. And it's the bomb. Like, I look flawless. And a little goes a long way. It's like medium to full, even though it says light to medium. And it just blends out super nicely. It works with other concealers, powders, and everything. Does look cakey. Just looks natural. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.